All right, biohackers, health nerds, I got a treat for you guys today. And that is Don Moxley. Don is, I met Don at a biohacking Congress in Vegas. And I was just like, who is this guy? How come I don't know him? How come I haven't heard of him? He's great. He, so he's been around. Um, he was a, a former wrestler at Ohio State University, and then he became Ohio State University's first ever sports scientist. Um, and man, he, I mean, he's worked with all sorts of athletes, Olympians, um, has helped athletes get to world championships, um, national championships. He's worked with many all Americans. He's been just in this gig for a long time. And it's cool to see how, you know, he's talking about how the universe has just taken him on this path. And it's just um, been so it's just cool. He has so much wisdom, you know, he teaches, he's an educator on sports science, and it's just cool to see where he's gone. So Here's where he's gone. So first of all, I got very excited because he he emailed me and told me that he um, had a new product that was called HRV. Hold on, I'm gonna HRV HRV Plus Heart Rate Variability Boost Dietary Supplement. And I was like, that's cool. So it's specifically designed to improve HRV. Which if you don't know what heart rate variability is, I'm gonna take a second because I don't think we get into the episode quite um, in depth. But heart rate variability is. I mean, he says it, it's pretty much how healthy your nervous system is, your stress response. Um, how can you go up when you need to go up and down when you need to go down? You know, can you go between sympathetic and parasympathetic? So like fight or flight and rest and digest, how healthy is that? And it's also a marker of recovery. Actually, Don is an expert on it. Um, and so he's going to talk about some of the cool things that he has done with HRV and how he landed in the cannabis industry and how that led to this. So I'm going to, that's, that was a cool thing to hear on his journey. And also, of course, I know him from spermidine life. So I've had another episode about spermidine and he's going to get into it even deeper. And I like the way that they've delivered this message or basically uh, calling it an autophagy support supplement and autophagy is like cellular renewal. So who doesn't want cellular renewal? Right. So anyway, Don is absolutely fantastic. He's just a fountain of knowledge. I hope you guys learn a lot. We'll go ahead and get into it. Here is Don Moxley. All right, Don, we met at biohacking Congress, but are in you Las Vegas? Yes. In Las Vegas. And man, you were on one of the panels and I was just like, Whoa, who's this guy? And then we got to talk a little bit more. And I mean, you've been in this field, the field of health, fitness, you know, now you're wave moved way deeper into the longevity space, but I just want to give my audience a little bit of context for who you are. So can we talk about way back to when you were doing applied science, um, with Ohio state and just give them a little background there and where you've come yeah. and what you're into now. Yeah. So just to give you a little background. I, um, I, I did my, I did my undergraduate work at Ohio state in uh, the early eighties. Uh, so I'm much older than most of your audience. Um, and along the way, I had, Tara, I had every expectation of going home and feeding beef cattle when I started, but wow. I was a wrestler and I had to, and I was suffering from injuries. And this is the early 80s. Strength coaches weren't a thing yet. They were just really starting to evolve. Um, and I had to learn what does it take to stay healthy so I can wrestle. Um, wow. And I wound up working with some outstanding people. And you might have heard of Lou Simmons, West Side Barbell. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a Columbus group that I had a connection to. I had great professors. I had great mentors. Um, but started in health and performance in about 1987. Um, wow. So. That's, yeah, you're right. They didn't, ex I mean, there were like not gyms, like, yeah, hardly yeah, at gyms, all. The gyms <laughs> were different. They were mainly, so the commercial gyms were old racquetball courts that they had put either a, a nautilus circuit in one corner and a free weights in one the other corner so that was that was and then you saw mom and pop operations evolving back right. then and um yeah we've been around seeing a lot of changes in the yeah. industry um but the cool th you know i i look at it two ways number one um we haven't cracked through. It's not like the general public has really embraced shit. People still smoke. Okay. Yeah. You know, so, so we're missing something. Yeah. Um, and, and we know the value of exercise. And, and, you know, if you saw my presentation in Vegas, you saw me talk about the four rocks of longevity, exercise, yeah. food, sleep, light that goes into the jar of purpose that hasn't changed. 
And, and, you know, we, you know, we're recording this at uh, 1230 on, on August the 11th. This morning, I was over at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, um, working with some of the guys that I worked with when I was at Ohio State recently. Uh, they're, they're on the Olympic team now. Mm. And the stories are literally the same. Mm. Um, you know, we live in it, we live in an environment that makes existence relatively easy. I don't, you know, I, you know, but it does not make, it does not make for a good life. It does not make for healthy longevity. It does not make right. for great, for great purpose. And, and, and I think a big challenge for people is to, you know, red pill, blue pill, you know, this is kind of like, uh, you know, which do you take? Do you want to see the truth or not? Well, the red pill says, don't exercise to lose weight exercise to live longer, perform better, forget about the scale, get rid of it, throw it away. Totally. Don't eat to lose weight. Bad goal. Right. Eat to fire up your system so that you get the most out of life. Um, and survive and, or thrive. Do you want to survive there you go. Or, or thrive? And that's where most, you're exactly right. I'm actually doing, writing a presentation about this right now. It's like most people, like we, we, we applaud things that help us survive. Even, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about resilience. It's like, it's good to be resilient. Of course it's, but resilient is your ability to bounce back to where you already were after something bad happens. There's a whole nother level of life that you're in that a whole bunch of us are in. And it's like, I don't want to just like be able to withstand and stay at baseline. Like I want to see how much I can thrive. Right. And that's, that's the mentality. That's the high performance mentality. And you're working with, I mean, Olympic athletes. And so I'm, I'm curious, like, I'm, I'm very curious personally, I, I guess I'll hit on spermidine first. I'm like, how did you get here? Like how, what, what happened in your path? You know, you're working with all these athletes and we'll talk about some cool stuff you're doing with HRV as well. But like, how did you get, what, what happened? how did you get into this? The universe, listen, <laughs> even a blind squirrel trips over a nut. Um, and <laughs> And, and um, it, was a, it was a unique set of his circumstances. Number one, um, my work that I did at Ohio State 15 through 18, looking at key performance indicators, understanding how HRV became the number one predictor of success for my wrestling program. Mm -hmm. um, I knew who would win in the morning of the match. I knew who wow. would make all American based on HRV scores. Whoa, so, cool. And, and, and we can put a link in your show notes to a presentation I did to a group down in Florida, it's called the Institute of Human to Machine Cognition, and the Special Operations Group, the uh, Special Operations Corps. This presentation introduced me to this group in Florida, and what a, an amazing group. Um, worked with them. Well, I finished up at Ohio State, and while I was at Ohio State, I had a lot of pro coaches and individuals asking me about, so what do you know about cannabis and HRV? And I said, I don't know anything about it. And they said, it's interesting. So through some what, connection. Sorry, real quick. It, it cut out a little bit. What do you know about what in HRV? Yes. And now it cut out uh, again. Uh, marijuana, cannabis. Cannabis. That's what I thought you were saying, but I just want to make sure. And I don't know if it's going to cut out on yes. the recording. So I got you guys. Okay. Cannabis and HRV. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. Let's, let's go. And so. So I, 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 I had the opportunity to go work in the cannabis industry. Wow. And I, so I moved to Florida. I did a deep dive into the pot pool and, wow. and, and what was interesting, Tara, I've taught the exercise sciences for the last 35 years. I've been yes. a professor 25, the last 35 years. You have part of your cyst, ner nervous system is called the endocannabinoid system. Mm -hmm. It's named after cannabis okay this should be chapter two of exercise 101 it literally is this important mm. i didn't even know about it until i jump into the deep end of the pot pool um you start to understand uh endocannabinoid system mm -hmm. when you understand endocannabinoid system and you see hrv hrv is a measurement of this system basically uh, are you able hmm. to transition from sympathetic to parasympathetic are you able to do that and it's your endocannabinoid system that governs that really i didn't know that i mean i know that yes. when you exercise you activate your endocannabinoid system and that's like one of the and by the way i think we've only i mean isn't it only like 10 years or so that we've even been talking about the, it that it was even discovered new. it is yeah brand new. yeah well 
it's well it's well brand known new. i guess <laughs> cannabis is ancient medicine yes um this is important um but being able to tie it to performance yeah. and so going back and answering your your original question you know what i have tripped through this thing and the universe just keeps putting yeah. opportunities in front of me so gingerbread working- crumb trail of magic uh, oh, <laughs> here just- you go here you go <laughs> and, it's a, and it's a willingness just to open up your being and say yep. okay universe tell me where yep. you want me i um, relate <laughs> and, um, yeah. so so wait, that was hold good. on. Wait, wait, wait. Pause, pause, pause. Hold on. Okay. I mean, I'm super, I'm, I'm, my audience knows we've got plant medicine episodes. Yep. Like this is a huge part of my life. So I've got to ask, like, so you're saying that cannabis can help improve HRV or like what, what, what kind of takeaways did you take from that period of your life? Well, we are actually with longevity labs, we're launching a brand called mode and method with a product called HRV plus. Um, it is a cannabis based daily nutritional supplement. Uh, that's coming on the market, that's designed to uh, support your endocannabinoid system. It's designed to lower inflammation. It's designed to improve endocannabinoid tone. Um, So yeah, this is is where we've gone with this. Uh, and, And so exciting for us. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking at the website now. So is it CBD or, you know, what, and by the way, guys, it's, it's modemethod.com in case you guys are curious. Yeah. Um, so there is CBD, but we do more than CBD. I think, I think CBD personally is overrated. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> got to get good. Now listen, I think, <laughs> I think it's good. Uh-huh. I think you've got to get volumes much greater than most people do. I think you need to be in a gram, gram and a half a day mm. for it to really make a difference. Mm. Um, but, so, but the plant actually produces what's called CBDA, the acid form. This is very bioavailable. Mm. Um, and then we back it up with some proprietary terpene blends. Um, so one of the wow. things with cannabis is the terpenes. It's not just the cannabinoids, yeah. but we're backing this up with some real powerful, uh, terpene blends, again, lowering inflammation, lowering pain, improving endocannabinoid oh. tone. Um, and this all is in a carrier oil of DHA, EPA, omega-3. Wow. Um, and it'll have what's called SPM, specialized pro-resolution mediators. These are biologically available omega-3s that resolve inflammation. Wow. So, this is a really powerful supplement. I'm not going to lie. This is really, really smart. I am very excited about this because I mean, it's, it's, I'm like, this exciting. is like a, super healer. It's a super healer. Wow. Well, I think what it is, Tara, is that we didn't mess around. So no, I think, I think one of the problems with the cannabis industry, particularly the CBD industry, they're trying to figure out, you know, how can I get $60 for a half a gram of CBD in a tincture? And, and I'm saying, no, 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 no. That tincture needs to be six grams. Um, you need to get your levels up dramatically. And by the way, it's not that expensive. You can do it. There's enough profit margin. We're putting a bunch of CBD, CBDA into this. We're actually working on a non-cannabis blend as well. That's just going to be terpene driven. And we're, we're really excited about that. Um, so, but we're, you know, coming to market is, is, is HRV plus CBD, CBDA, a proprietary terpene blend that's real powerful in what's called beta theophylline, one of the real powerful terpenes, all in a carrier oil of DHA, EPA, and SPMs. Um, wow. So yeah, it's, it's got curcumin of- and magnesium in it too. Like that, yep. I'm like very excited to try that. Wow. Okay, cool. Thank you for highlighting that with the, the cannabis industry and HRV after all that work you've been doing all that time. Like this is why I was so excited to have you on the show because when we were talking, I was like, dude, you're like a legit OG. You're like a legit OG of this is like the, the whole, you know, like it's kind of the, what, what I've seen evolve from probably around like the eighties. It's like this path of like, okay, there's like fitness, but wait, then there were these outliers that were like, hold on, we can go deeper than that. How does the actual internal systems of the body work? And there was kind of this area of like the strength coaching community, you know, Charles Poliquin could be included in there. And like, it's just kind of like, Absolutely. no, we're going to find out about neurotransmitters and gut health and vitamin and mineral pathways, methylation cycles, you know, the whole thing, yep. you know, and it's like, you've been on that path and it's just, it's cool to see where the universe is taking you, which you're obviously open to probably because of cannabis. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> we're, we're excited. You know? Yeah, we're it's so really cool. And, 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 
And the thing is, Tara, is that what I have seen over the years is too many times strength and conditioning becomes dogmatic. Oh meaning my that gosh. It's, it's uh, uh, are I you know. a Baptist? Are you a Catholic? Are you a Methodist? You all read from the same damn book. I know. Okay? Quit, quit differentiating. And oh, by the way, some people may respond to Catholic strength, but and some people may respond <laughs> to Methodist strength. Okay. Yeah. And 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 just and and it's important as an individual, yes. Tara Garrison and Don Moxley are very different people. We yes. have genetically we're different, at least in gender. Yes. Um, but then I have black hair, you have blonde hair. We, you know, so there's all these yes. differences that come into play, how you respond to stress. And I get tired, and this is what this is what yep. we learned at Ohio State. Listen, everybody needs to pick up heavy shit. Okay. <laughs> End of end of story. Go figure out the heavy I, shit theme you like and do it. I love that. I love yeah. that. And I, I'm so aligned with you. I actually almost gave up coaching because I had gotten so deep into that end of the strength coaching industry. And I was like, I didn't know this was going to be a, sorry, I'm being super vulgar, but like a D measuring contest. Like I'm out. I don't want to be yeah. in that. I thought I would, I wanted to help people. And then I found out there's a whole bunch of other people who aren't like that. Yay. And I found my yes. tribe and that's exactly, I see how you are too. And I, I appreciate that about you, right? Well, that you don't have the need to be right. <laughs> And, and it's, imp listen, it's the key rocks in the jar, right? Um, and it's it's about using data on top of that. Let's go ahead and yeah. add this too. Tara, yeah. I think if you're exercising and you're not wearing a heart rate monitor, you're leaving progress on the table. Mm. Um, you need to understand workloads and how this works. And oh, by the way, you can, if you do this right, you can lower your workload, get yeah. a greater response and have more time in your day for other things. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and with my athletes, this has been huge. Um, I don't, I don't need two hours in the weight room and then, you know, listen, I'm, we're going to, I think you and I may try and grab coffee next week when we're yeah. up in uh, Utah. Um, I'm coming up to see, uh, I'll see you and I'll see Jim Stray Gunderson at oh, Bistro. Nice. You, you yeah. start, you start looking at uh, blood flow restriction training, mm -hmm. using tools like heart rate monitors, HRV, doing this stuff, and you can fine tune your program. You can, you can find what works for you. And then you work with a great coach like you that helps people ask the right questions, be in right. the right place. And, you know, then, you know, nutheads like me, we're sitting back saying, okay, where's the white space here? Where do we have the ability to look between the lines, yeah. and see things that we haven't seen before? And, oh, by the way, let's set the dogma aside. Let's, let's yeah. quit doing your, your big D measurement. <laughs> let's, let's look at real data. Yeah. And, and we can do that now with wearable technology with aura rings and bio straps and, 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 and heart rate monitors that you wear when you train it's, it's approachable. This technology is very affordable. Um, yeah. And it's a, it's a game changer. Yeah, let me ask you about that a little more. And actually, thank you for saying that because I mean, I was on the, you know, I had the original aura. I was waiting forever for the new one to come out. I wore a whoop shroud for years. Like I did a lot of HRV and I haven't been wearing it. My, my, my aura stopped working or I lost the charger or something. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm good. Um, but I'm glad you said that because even though like, I, I feel, you know, I definitely, I think it's for me, it was a really awesome learning tool. It's like, ah, oh, cause you can, you sure. can correlate things. It's like, oh, wow. Look what happened when I was just stressed out emotionally. Wow. Or look what happened when I ate that inflammatory stuff that actually did impact me. Okay. Okay. I didn't think it was impacting me that much, but it is, you know, it was that kind of stuff, but I've kind of, I've, I, I haven't gotten a new one. Cause I'm like, I think I'm good, but I'm glad you said that because it is so helpful to be able to, no, I, like the point you made about like, maybe I could be doing less and the, le I love the less is more approach. So the less is more, I, I respect, get the stimulus, yeah. get out, go home, sleep, eat. <laughs> more, more, more is more gives you, there's an interesting dopamine response there. Yeah. You know, there's, there's an, there's something we become addicted to that we, that, yeah. that you just love being in the gym. And I get yeah. that. Get me yeah. Now I've, I've got a couple years on you. I've got a few knee surgeries on you. I've got a, um, I'm not able, to, I'm not able to go in and train with my face on fire like I used to. Yeah, um, yeah. Shit breaks, um, and I don't, and I yeah. don't want to go there. So I've had to de develop some efficiencies. Yes. But Tara, if you're getting ready to go into a contest, you know, if you're just training, you may not need HRV measurement. If you're trying yeah. to optimize for a contest, 
Right. It's, it's a huge deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I'm in, I'm in life flow phase now. And I really, yeah. most of my time in the gym is just walking and working on my phone. I'm not going to lie. But my, my right. time actually lifting weights is pretty small. It's probably like 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's, but, I mean, that's, that's, so, that's the time we live in, right? Yeah. Maybe 45, but yeah, no, I love that point. And then I kind of am curious where the gingerbread ta- trail took you from this, from cannabis and HRV into yeah, spermidine. spermidine. Ironically, yeah. I was, um, I was, so at the beginning of COVID, I had the, the cannabis industry is batshit crazy uh, from a business standpoint. Hmm. Um, and until we get it rescheduled, until cannabis gets rescheduled from schedule one down to at least schedule three, and we get interstate banking, we get interstate commerce, it's going to be a batshit crazy business, unfortunately. Hmm. So I, I moved into it. I was moving out because I wanted more stability. I wanted predictability. Yeah. And actually a guy that I worked with in Florida calls me one day and he says, so what do you know about autophagy? And I said, well, I said, I've, I have a passing understanding. I said, what do you know about spermity? I said, nothing. Um, and, he, and he sends me some materials. And um, so when I went to work in cannabis in Florida, we built a medical brand about understanding cannabis at a medical level. What are the molecules? Mm-hmm. How do they work? How do you use this as a medicine? Um and so we built a brand on that, and um, they're still using a lot of the stuff I did four years ago. Um, but he said, we have to launch this product. And, and actually, one of my advisors that I always go back to, I texted him, I said, so what do you understand about autophagy and spermidine? Well, my phone auto-corrected the spermicide. <laughs> and, and he sends a note back. And he says, do you mean spermidine? I said, yes, sorry. He said, um, he said, we're looking at this. At, and this is a, an elite research group. He says, where do you find this stuff? And I'm like, you know, squirrel in a nut, right? It's your, you know, you to <laughs> but um, so that was how it all came together. Uh, phone calls, conversations. You know, I have a gift of gab. I talk to people. And um, and that's where, that's where spermidine life came into play. Um, we learn about this molecule that is incredibly beneficial, um, probably lacking from an American diet. It, uh, I, we believe spermidine will gain vitamin status at some point. Hmm. We believe it'll be recognized as a necessary exogenous uh, nutrition, n- a nutrient. Okay. Um, and for those who are unfamiliar, can you explain what it is and what it does? And autophagy, because maybe people don't haven't heard yeah. that word that, that just popped on this episode. So can you so, go a little deeper on that? So let's start at autophagy. So if you fast, the health benefit of fasting is your cells recognize a drop in nutrients in your body and your cells say to themselves, hey, we don't have nutrients coming in. Let's go ahead and clean up inside. Let's do a cleanse. And, and your cells through this process of autophagy, begin to digest old proteins, old organelles in the cell, that when they build up those, those, those junky parts of the cell, decreased immunity, they lead to poor cardiovascular performance, they lead to poor neural, when you look at neuropathy, even proteins that autophagy resolves um don it froze for a second what were you saying when you look at neur- neuropathy what what did you say after that when you look at neuropathies and things like alzheimer's and dementia these are largely the effect of the buildup of proteins and neural cells hmm. and as you improve autophagy you don't have that protein buildup. so we have a study from germany that shows spermidine supplementation stops the development of dementia, hmm. um, which is the buildup of these proteins in the cells. Um, we know that as you boost spermidine, spermidine is a key molecule in the autophagy pathway. We This is what we understand at this point. The research that was done at the University in Austria by our founder, uh, Dr. Frank Medeo, has been able to show us that senescent cells can be converted back to healthy cells through improved autophagy. Um, So it's this, so whether you fast, whether you exercise, autophagy can be triggered many ways. Um, Nutritional triggers, not the least of which are like resveratrol and spermidine and things like that. But 
Spermidine is one of the key molecules that frankly, we have trouble getting spermidine from American plant products. We have to, we have to get all our spermidine from Europe, from wheat, uh, European wheat germ. Um, we've not been able to do it in this country. Really? Because, yes. because of the nutrient quality here? We, we our, our nutrients, our, our agriculture in this country yeah. is built around volume. Right. Not wow. nutrient density. And so love to extract spermidine from North American wheat germ. We can't find it besides the glyphosate wow. thing. Set that yeah. aside. Right, um, exactly. <laughs> Here's some yeah. cellular renewal and some glyphosate for you. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. thank you. I'm I'm curious too. I just want to highlight that you guys also have, you have an immunity, spermidine, life, mm -hmm. immunity plus, memory plus. I saw you got some bacopa in here and some saffron flower extract. I was like, that's yeah. cool. These are cool supplements. Can you talk about that a little bit? Just the memory and immunity options? Yeah, so, so the company said, listen, we've got people asking us and we also, uh, we're getting ready to launch. I think by the time this airs, we will have launched our six milligram product. So the products that you have are one milligram a day, which is the European Union's uh, minimum recommended dose. Okay. Um, we've tested safety to 20 milligrams a day. Nice. Um, so we have a six milligram product that we're currently launching through physicians. Some will be available through our direct to consumer network, uh, mm -hmm. but we're just ramping this up. But so we have much higher dose products, but People said, hey, I'm taking this for immunity. What else can we put in it? Yeah, so, yeah. So that's what that is. It's the same one milligram of spermidine per dose, but we've either gone in and added some mushrooms or some B yeah. vitamins or things like yeah. that to enhance either memory or immunity. Yeah, very cool. And you got little, little pap, stick packs that's a, as well. That's our 10 pack. That's our six milligram 10 pack. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I got one, guys. I believe you may have the first one we ever shipped. Really? I oh, believe I'm honored. that's what that is. So. I'm honored. Yeah, well, my mom has actually pretty progressed dementia, and I've got mm. some of you know, the APOE4 genetic mutation. So I try to do everything that I can do to make sure that my brain and my metabolism, mm. my body is healthy, you know, so I appreciate it. We, we Listen, we did not evolve to eat daylight to dark. Um, yeah. We, we, we evolved autophagy. When you look at autophagy, it is a key longevity yes. um, uh, pr practice. It's key mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. and, and listen, when I'm talking about longevity, I mean, I have a good friend, Dr. Ken Ford, that says he wants to be happy, 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 dead. Um, <laughs> and, I love that. I want, what's his name? Dr. Ken Dr. Ford. Dr. Ken wanna... Ford. He, <laughs> Yeah, he, I want to quote got a, him. He's got, got a podcast called Stem Talk. It's a great podcast. Oh, by the wow, way. cool. Um, and um, but but he says I want to be happy, 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 dead. And and <laughs> and and Kara, I think I think you've got a couple young kids. You know, my, my daughter my daughter is twenty four. She moved out uh, January second of our house, and my wife and I'm actually coming to you from our forty three foot fifth wheel trailer that my wife uh -huh. and I have moved into. Wow, um, cool. We're looking for our next home. Um, wow! But I made sure you look over my shoulder. You see my sauna. So I have a I have a fifth wheel with a sauna you and a red light. Left, you got my <laughs> red light. We've got Peloton. We've got exercise oh, cool. equipment. Um, yeah, I, you kind of put your money where your mouth is, right? It's you know, a mobile biohacking lab. <laughs> well, no, it's just I want to live and 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 I want to. I I tell the story that you know I think life comes in thirds. You spend your first third learning, and then you spend your second third in service to others, either raising family, things like that. And, and again, my wife and our daughter moved out of our house January 2nd. We officially entered third third. Um, I've had the opportunity to coach amazing people and work with amazing people over the years. Without a doubt, my favorite coaching experience ever was my daughter's eighth grade field hockey team. <laughs> I want, I want to coach my grandkids. I, yeah. I want to be, I got to go wrestle with my nephew who qualified for the Florida state tournament uh, mm -hmm. four years ago. And you know what? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm I, at the time I'm 56. Um, I, I haven't really trained lately. I've still got some wrestling in me. Um, I've got wrestling for one day. Second day was a disaster. Um, everything was broken. Um, but 
I want to be that crazy grandfather that can go in and wrestle with his grandkids. Yeah. And um, the only way you get there is this optimization process using yeah. spermidine, fasting, driving autophagy, making sure HRV is in place, keeping sleep as a key rock in the jar, um, yes. and, and, then, and then backing that up with exercise, food, and light. Yeah. I mean, you just circled it back to what we were saying in the beginning. And it's like, you can choose is that red pill, blue pill. It's, do you want to just exist in your life, which that path goes kind of something like sort of happy, less happy, less happy, dead. It's kind of a vibe, yeah. you know, sort of for a lot of people. And then if you want to choose to invest in yourself, like you're doing with you've got, and I love that you said you put your money where your mouth is. I've got a mindset coach, friend, and mentor of mine that says, People say they value all sorts of things. You value what you spend your time and money on. End of story, period. Right, right. So, and that's, that's what it is. And so like, but when you, but the, the trick, the trick is that if you spend your time and money on optimizing yourself, your whole life gets better. It's the b best investment you can do. Like you start reaching to higher heights and professionally, your, your relationships get more full. You feel better every day. It's so worth it. Um, Kathy Smith, who's also in park city, which I don't know if you've connected with Kathy, but, uh, you uh -huh. know, Kathy talks a lot about health span. It's that happy, happy, happy dad. She's like, you don't have to like, you don't have to like get old and like, you like can barely even communicate anymore. Right. Like you can be healthy all the way and then you die from natural causes, but you can thrive, you know, and I love yeah. hearing that from you. And that's, that's the mentality. That's, that's the, the biohacker or the health optimization, but it's like, it's such a good way to live. I hope anybody who's listening to this podcast is on that train, like make one investment, put your money where your mouth is and just watch, see how much better you feel. So, and we'll link up well, this I stuff if you want to try spermidine and also his hrv supplement as well yeah, so we'll but, check show but notes but the point i want to emphasize uh tara is that the environment is constantly pushing against uh, you yes that that uh, you know i do a talk of, that we call uh aquariums you know if you go see a if you go see an orca in an aquarium mm. what you'll see like is their dorsal fin is bent over Orcas in the wild have a straight dorsal fin. One's in, the ones, so there's not enough environmental force in an aquarium for an orca to express its DNA. Wow. If, if you look at zoo animals, the old zoo animals back from when I was a kid, zoos were concrete blocks with bars in front of them. The, the, aver, the animals lived an average of three and a half years. They did not reproduce. They were neurotic. They had digestive issues, just like your neighbors. Well, they, you put that same animal into an enriched environment, they live full lives, they reproduce. Well, the, so the question is, what side of the aquarium are you living on? Um, when, you, when you look out that window, are you on the inside or are you on the outside? Because you're in an aquarium. You're in an environment that is, that is temperature controlled, that is humidity controlled, that's standardized, you know, whether it's, whether it's winter or summer, that room is still 70 degrees. Um, and know that you live in an aquarium, know that it has an adverse impact on you because your DNA, homo sapiens were successful because we adapted better than yep. Neanderthals. Yep. And, we, and we could travel. This is our DNA. You have to adapt. Yep. Um, and and knowing that when you when you live in a house with no stairs, if you live in a ranch house and you never climb a stair, you never engage your iliopsoas in the hip. That iliopsoas crosses over the sciatic nerve two times. If you don't engage it, it'll start to spasm. When it spasms, you get sciatica. Okay, that's the impact of not climbing stairs and climbing stuff. Um, yeah. the, the iliopsoas engages when you clap, when your knee over 90 degrees, you have to do that. You have to climb. Now, listen, living in park city, doing the things you do, you get to, and, and, and all the life that we've chosen to follow, we're out hiking, we're doing things like yeah. that, but we're doing it because it's critical to thriving. Yeah. Um, so these are the little things along the way. Wow. Thank you for sharing that wisdom. Yeah. It's uh, I, I always, I tell people, I'm like, we're, we're almost to Wally level the movie Wally. Or did you see that movie? <laughs> we're getting close, dude. I literally 
put my, I park my butt in my car while I'm still in my house. My garage is still in my house. And then I just ride my little thing over and I just barely walking. Oh, there's a self-checkout right by the door. Okay. And I just ride back to my house. Like you have to yeah. choose it. You have yeah. to choose it. And we've got all of the, you know, all the new stuff with 5g and all the pollution and the, the soils are depleted. Like, come on, you got to choose it. You got to choose it. So thank you for sharing that. Recognize the aquarium that you live in and invest in dealing with, okay, what are the key aspects? Listen, Amish don't need to exercise. They don't have air conditioning. They have to work. They don't ride. They don't, you know, they don't have, you know, they don't, they work. They don't have to exercise. Right. So unless you're Amish, you've got to <laughs> exercise. Yeah. Um, now yeah. they also have great food sources. They grow their own food. They do this. This is, this is a sign of a blue zone. People who grow their own food. Yeah. Um, are healthier and there's a high spermidine level in the blue zones. We know that. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why you do your own garden or you learn to find your food coming from farm to table kind of sources. Um, don't depend on commercially produced. Yep. Commercially produced is not going to kill you. Um, Just not as good. All, not even it close. Won't, it won't let you thrive. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, so I, we just, we just got a farm box from, um, a, 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 like, you know, from a regenerative farm and my kids mm -hmm. like got all excited. Right. Cause it's pretty cool. It's all these weird looking miniature, yeah. you know, the eggplants are like the size of quarters and stuff. And my son was eating the tomatoes and he was like, wow, these taste like real tomatoes. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the yeah. stuff you get at the stores, like, it's like plastic. It tastes like plastic, you know? So it's like, it's, you find the right store. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah. the stuff you're going to get at like a general grocery store right. in America, you know, like it's like, you got to choose and you can choose. And anybody who's going to give me the crap of they can't afford it, figure out a way to afford it. Cause I did. I started from the bottom. I had nothing when I started my entrepreneurial journey and I found, figured out a freaking way to be able to get myself and my kids good food. And you can too. You yes. can do it. I believe in you. So it is, it is more expensive, but you, but it is affordable. And when you look at, when you look at the cost, of illness yes look at the cost of of lowered cognitive performance listen kids who eat better do better in school kids yeah. who exercise do better in school right we can look there's all of these we have all of these indicators yeah but recognize the aquarium yes and take ownership of your existence in it Yes. I love that. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. We're going to link up all the stuff for the spermidine and also his HRV product, which is super cool. I can't wait to see you in park city. I'm looking forward to hearing a little bit more about your cannabis stint. That sounds super rad. And we'll, Don, thank and you. We'll, we'll see you out on the road at some show. Yes. I can't wait till we get together yes. again. Yes. Again, looking forward to next week. Yes. Thank you for um, just being such a great educator and, and sharing all of your wisdom over the years with us today. So Thanks, appreciate Sarah. you.